Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk of Truth Radio Podcast, and I want to invite all those within the St. Louis metropolitan area and around the world to come worship with us every Sunday at 8 a.m. at the Universal Church of Jesus Christ Building, located at 2301 Wallace Avenue, Overland, Missouri, 63114. We also have our Rescue Addiction Recovery Program on Mondays from 7 p.m. until 8 p.m. Our Bible studies are held every Tuesday at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. You can also catch us, follow us, and subscribe to us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Please come out and join us, follow us, follow our podcast, but most of all, Get saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy Ghost. And always remember, walk in truth. And if you'd like to contact me by email, you can do so by going to walkintruthministries at yahoo.com or w-i-t-m-i-n at yahoo.com. Thank you and bless you. And we look forward to worshiping and fellowshipping with you. Peace. Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walking Truth Radio Podcast. With your encouraging word for today, it's inspired by Ephesians 3, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I'm going to start off with 3, 16. And, I, and, and, and you know this why this inspires me? It's because I see a lot of the saints of God running to the secular and psychology for their inspiration and motivation. And I just don't get it. Why do you run to the lesser when supposedly, and I do say that lightly, supposedly you have the greater living, moving, acting, and doing with inside of you? It's almost as if you got a foot in both camps. Either you trust God or you don't. Either you believe in the power that lies within you or you don't. So let's see what the scripture says. Let's just start at verse 16. I know that's in the middle of a thought, but I want to start here for time's sake. It says, according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being. So let's just start off with verse 16. You're going to be strengthened with his power. Now, my question to you is, what is his power? How do you look at his power? Do you look at his power as the power that said, let there be light, and there was light? Do you look at his power as the fact that the earth and the fullness thereof is his, and that everything belongs to him, and there's nothing that was created that has not been created by Jesus, that he was there in the beginning? He was there when the children of Israel were going through the wilderness, and he was the bread of life that fed them. He said, I am the door, I am the way, I am the light. Come unto me all who thirst, and I will give you drink. Is he the one who gives you perfect peace? What can a secular person tell you about the power of God? All they want to do is tell you about the power of you, relying on you. Pull up your bootstraps, do this, do that. But you know, without the breath and the grace of God, you couldn't do anything. Let's look at verse 17. So that Christ may what? Dwell in your hearts through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may have strength to comprehend with all saints what is the, watch this, the breadth and the length and the height and the depth and and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. That was a lot. But the point I want to concentrate on is surpasses all knowledge. That means secular and psychology. By the love that you understand that Christ has in you. And that this knowledge, this God consciousness, this power that is dwelling within you that all you have to do is stir up your pure mind. Stir up the gift that's in you. Let the Holy Spirit during the sanctification process renew your mind. 
Now let's get to verse 20 that everybody knows. And this should be the one where you just shout for joy because you don't need another motivational speech. You don't need another guru to come tell you that you are going to do great things. This is where the rubber meets the road. Now, not yesterday. Now, to him, to Jesus, who is able to do. Now, did you get catch that? He's able. There's nothing lacking in Jesus that he can't do if it's his will. There's no power on earth that can stop him from blessing you, correcting you, and moving you forward in the process of conforming you into his image. There's nothing to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us. So let me get this straight. The power of the Holy Spirit is working within us and it can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. So there's nothing that I can ask for that the power that he has deposited within me, which is the Holy Spirit, can't do. And there's no thing that I can think of that is above his capability to bring into focus and the light and into my life. And yet, I need to be told that I can do it. What did this verse just tell you? That what is in you is greater than what's in the world. So now that brings another question. Why aren't you walking in the power that's in you? Why don't you know that you're an overcomer? Why don't you know that you're the head and not the tail? Why don't you know that you're walking in dominion? Why don't you know that you walk by faith and not by sight? Why can't you see that he would be a light unto your feet and a lamp unto your fat path? Why can't you see that he gives you the perfect peace, the, the peace that surpasses all understanding and this knowledge? So the question is first, are you saved? And then the second question, do you really have an experience in your sanctification that you will know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, that there's not nothing that God can't do and you can't think or imagine all the good things that God has for you in your life. All you have to do, submit, sacrifice, repent, have faith, and move forward. This is Pastor Jay with Walk of Truth Radio Podcast. I always want you to be encouraged and be blessed. And you know what? Just like any natural exercise or endeavor, you must exercise what God has given you so you can grow into the knowledge of the power that lies within you. Peace.